Hey guys, CB Super here. Today I got a question, what is the difference between making a compound clip and making a fusion clip out of these two clips? And this was in reference to a masking video that I did. So if you haven't watched the masking video, you can go ahead and click up here in the upper right and you can go check out that video first if you want. Otherwise, this explanation is really just gonna be about what the difference between a compound clip and a fusion clip and bringing those assets into fusion. So let's go ahead and jump over to DaVinci. I already have some clips here set up and basically all it is, is I have this uh, this pier clip and then I have an aerial shot and these are all stock footage that was off of uh, Pixabay. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two together slightly different. So on the left here, I'm gonna combine these into a new compound clip and then on the right, I'm gonna combine these two footages into a fusion clip. And right away, you can already see that these are kind of different but this isn't really where the difference lies. On the compound clip, we come over here to Fusion, we'll notice that we only have one node. And that's because it bakes those two clips together. Whatever footage is on top is the footage that's going to shine through. So let's say I wanted to mask, because the original question was about masking. If I was to mask in this uh, media right here, you'll notice that there's nothing behind it. There really is no benefit to creating a compound clip in that sense. In order to kind of get the same effect, we would need to bring in this media after the fact and bring in a merge node and then this could be our background and then pipe in the original and then back out to the media node and now we would basically get the same effect. But the problem lies in that the timing of this second media is going to be, it's basically just going to start at wherever that media starts. So if we had gone in here and we had say adjusted um, maybe I didn't want the, the timing to be this way. Maybe, maybe I wanted it to start a little bit later in this clip. So the timing would definitely be different between the two clips. Um, so in order to fix that, you would actually have to come in here and back into Fusion, and you would actually have to uh, jump into the keyframe editor and try to edit it in here. So if we wanted to adjust the timing maybe on this media two, uh, we could kind of move it left or right. And that's going to adjust. That's going to adjust it, but it's it's not the most intuitive way to work. And to be honest, it's it's a lot easier to come over here, edit all your footage the way you want it here, and then turn it into a fusion clip. Versus as a fusion clip, I can come over to Fusion, and you'll notice I have both media already loaded up in here. So now the timing can be exactly whatever I wanted it to be in our edit. And so so the way that we have it now, I can. I can mask it off and then now we're gonna get you know the correct effect that we were looking for and if that's not the way that you want it you can always come in here you can invert it and say that's I think what we had in the uh, the other shot over here the only difference is we were actually able to edit the timing before bringing it into the fusion clip so I mean that's definitely gonna be a huge plus uh, versus trying to deal with it in the keyframe editor and maybe you have a bunch more footages. You can still keep bringing footage out here. I mean, there's nothing that says that you can't bring footage out here and deal with it. Say if you wanna, uh, before you even start combining it, you can come over here and load it into the keyframe editor. The only problem is that you're only gonna get whatever's distance, uh, if, if it's a five second, you know, if it's only a five second clip, you're gonna have to deal with it in a five second interval. So, you know, that may or may not be helpful. Uh, it's not the best way to work. Um, uh, and one one place where like you're really gonna notice is it is say if you come over here and maybe we'll zoom out a little bit. And now when we come over here and we build this and we create a new compound clip and then we come into fusion, well, now you you have basically baked in these two footages together. you know, and I mean, that could be cool because like these footages are both gonna play independently of each other. but I mean, you can't, you can't adjust this. You know, in order in order to adjust this, I would have to, you know, copy paste this over here, and then maybe merge these two together. Uh, and then maybe maybe I want to come in here. Maybe I want to do this. You know, I mean, that would work. You could do that. That's probably not the best way to work. And then if I was come make it any smaller, well, now we get this like, you know, smaller version. We, we can't get rid of what's behind there because it's completely baked in. So just kind of keep that in mind. When you're using compound clips, you're basically baking it. We would say you're kind of doing a destructive workflow. 
versus a non-destructive workflow, which is what creating a fusion clip would be. So I hope this helped. Um, if you guys got something out of it, let me know. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.